Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to another shop review where I try to find shop offers that are good and not gambling, of which there are very few. But let's have a look. And first of all, obviously, this is a 268 draw, and that you shouldn't play unless you really hate having money, in which case you can also give it to me, but I wouldn't recommend doing that either. Just spend it on ice cream or something. But let's have a look at the resources here these times fives and the boosters. If you need boosters and times fives, it's solid. You can buy this. Like, there's nothing bad about it. These also include times fives. If you don't care about the boosters and you want the times fives and you want gold, these bundles used to be a lot cheaper than they are now. But uh, inflation also affects goods that don't have value. 680 Euro. Because remember, you don't own any of this. Like, when you buy gold, when you buy times five XPs, you don't actually own them. And I hope you don't own these because they're not worth it. I mean, the object is a disappointment and the Charlemagne is just about fine. It's not, not a good tank. It's not a terrible tank. It's got an octagon gun barrel. That's about the most interesting thing about the, the Charlemagne. It's it, It's got a gun barrel that looks like an octagon or a tentacon, whatever that is. Uh, that, that sounds like tentacle. And we don't want to... No, we don't want tentacles in Blitz. We already have the weeps. We don't want tentacles. Nope. Nope. And nope. But do you want... The defenders. All of them. There is a lot of defenders at this point. Now, here's the thing. Defender Mark 1 is a good tank. The Carnarvon Defender is fine. The rest of them are a bit pointless. I mean, the T28 is a decent enough vehicle. I mean, they're not the greatest of tanks. 54 euros for five tanks is not that terrible. You also get 60 days of premium. You get times fives. They're all locked. I mean, it'd be much better if there be unlocked times five in here, but it's not a terrible bundle. If you want to collect all the defenders, like basically if you already have one or two of the defenders, this makes no sense, but if you have absolutely no defenders whatsoever, but you want all of them and collect them, it's an okay bundle. But then there is something really great in here, and that is the Type 57 and the Tornwagen. The 57 is one of the best to rate heavies in the game. Good at grinding crits and also good at dealing damage, and it can also be a lot of fun. And unlike something like a Object 252, it does have nine degrees of gun pressure. The mobility obviously is very heavy tank-like, nothing special there. Uh, low DPM, but 430 alpha damage and very good armor, especially in a turret. It does have a cupola, but it is quite far back, so if you do go hull down, it is pretty much impossible to pen it. The lower plate is quite big. Try to hide that. Upper plate is very difficult to pen. Try to hide the lower plate, and this thing is a absolute beast. Tornwagen, kind of similar with that. The upper plate is so well sloped that it's impenetrable. And the, the turret doesn't really exist much. I mean, you can in certain times pen this place here, but it is very tiny. So if you keep the vehicle moving back and forth, the enemy is going to have a very tough time actually hitting that spot. Obviously, lower plate is a weak spot. Like on any vehicle, it's got a 400 alpha damage, 10 degrees gun depression, and a decent enough mobility that is slightly better than the type. So 24 euros for these two vehicles is a very good bundle obviously you could have added uh unlocked times fives in here instead of the locked ones but hey you can't have nice things all the time but i can definitely recommend this bundle right here what i can't recommend is the pointless platoon as it should be called the astron rex is a, a waste of time and space and the tl7 is also at best a waste of space and i do not recommend these tanks whatsoever just like the space guards or a waste of space really i mean 10k for two tier rates is pretty nice right you have unlocked times fives in here so if you're a space fan this could be a good bundle for you but if you're looking to optimize your premium tank collection towards good vehicles credit grinding vehicles high performing vehicles this is not going to be the bundle for you but if you want some fun space tanks and 30 times five in here that is a pretty good addition here it can be a worthwhile bundle like, the value here is very there. Tier 34 is one of the oldest premiums in the game. It hasn't gotten power crept as much as others. It is still decent enough, but obviously there are vehicles that are much better, like a T77 and T4E2. They're going to do better, but it still holds up, especially with this great standard penetration. The T23 is a meme tank. It has very high DPM, but 160 alpha damage and no armor whatsoever, and only 6 degrees of gun depression for some reason, so it is going to be somewhat limited to play as a a medium tank if it was a collector tank at least you could sell it but unfortunately it's just a premium so the best you can hope for is that it gets turned into a collector and then you can sell it for gold eventually and then it's a pretty good bundle and then you have the um star wars tank here i have no idea about star wars a tie fighter i think something like that it's supposed to be 
But yeah, it's a decent bundle. If you like space, get it. If you like grinding creds and want the most efficient uh, way of getting creds and having fun as well, something like a Centurion Rack is the better choice right here. These times fives are unlocked. Immediately, epic bundle. Buy this and buy it now. There's one downside to this vehicle, that it's, it's alpha damage. But if you're a okay to decent player, you're not going to have any problems with that. These times five, once again, I repeat, are unlocked. And for 8.5k with this vehicle, it is a strong tank. But keep in mind one thing. If you have the STV-81, if you've gotten the STV-81 for free, you don't need this one. The difference, this vehicle is better, but the difference isn't large enough to really justify purchasing this one on top as well. Unless you really love the STV-81 and be like, oh, I want this tank, but slightly better. Then this could be an excellent bundle. If you don't have the STV-81, if you missed out on the free subscription, this is what I highly recommend picking up right here. Also with the times 5 XPs. Um, and then down here, we also have the XM66F container and the TSL7 Defender container. Obviously, I don't think I have to tell you that containers are terrible and this is a bad offer. The vehicle is, um, it's fine. Nothing special about it. It's just fine. So, once it comes in the shop, if they would have chucked it into the whole Defender bundle up here, like, just chuck it in here. Six Defenders, 54 euros. That, that would have been cool. But, nah, gonna sell it in crappy crates, so... All right, let's go in the TSL7 Defender, which obviously this is a press account. This is not my actual account because I would have never paid for this vehicle, let alone in crates. Um, but yeah, the enemies have two light tanks, but none of them are in a clan and none of them are competent, which means this is basically a free win. Um, unless obviously those guys over there just throw away. So my goal right here is to push as quickly as possible, take the map control, surround the enemy. Right, that is the most important thing on a map level, on a battle level, is to gain map control. Is to surround the enemy, because if you can attack the enemy from multiple sides at the same time, they can only point their strongest part of their armor towards one side, and uh, they can only fight towards one side effectively. I have no idea how that actually bounced, and I don't even know what the hell this vehicle is supposed to be based on. Um, probably some kind of prototype, but... Yeah, it's, it's getting wacky. But yeah, it's it's a fine tank. and But fine is not enough to warrant thousands and tens of thousands of gold worth of crates. Fine is 5,000 gold. Excellent is 8,000 gold. Outstanding. The best of the best would be a maximum of 10,000. At the most. Um, but you have to pay something like 60,000 gold. Uh, to get it with charms, which is obviously the most likely way of obtaining it uh, with, with gambling. It's the only true way of, you can guarantee getting it. Um, obviously, the, the crate drop chances are in the way that you're on average going to get it every 25th, um, but you're guaranteed to get it every 30th. But, because averages work as averages, you have to assume that you're always going to need 30 charms to actually obtain the vehicle. So... Obviously, I'm going to have to K2. That's not actually pushing me, which is surprising. I have, magne I have magnetic ground shells. Um, okay, now the K2 is coming around this side. So I'm going to be, be careful here. I'm going to try to go around the back, get rid of the whole re. Got this Tiger P here, keeping the K2 a little bit busy and keeping him from being able to actually push me completely. But I'm going to have to be, uh, again, careful because if he, if he goes around this side, I don't have anybody truly covering me here. Means I'm gonna now turn around again, move away from the K2. Gonna put the shell into him. Gonna put another one into him. And now my goal is to, ideally, well, I can't really put the M41D into a position to fire at him because he's never gonna be able to penetrate the front in most cases. Um, and now we're gonna just simply turn around again, right? I, I don't want to fight that K2 really, but I'm fighting him whenever I have the advantage. Like when I'm loaded, I'm gonna fight him. When I don't have any shells, I'm obviously going to get out of there. I'm not going to try to outmaneuver, outflank him or anything of like that. I'm just going to simply clip him. And then once the clip is complete, I'm going to get the heck out of there. And obviously we're going to lose this battle because um, even though the enemy mediums, uh, well, the enemy lights were incompetent, they were more competent than the rest of my team. And I'm just going to fire at this guy, get rid of him. Now I'm going to get M41 deed. Um, 
Just about that. Come on, ram into me, please. Nope, he's not going to. And now I'm going to die, but I did 3k damage to who actually cares about the result of the battle when I did well enough. Okay. I'm gonna die now. There we go. That's this tank. And remember, any tank, it's 80% player, 20% tank. The result of the battle. That's why you don't really trust win rate stats for the most part. They, they're, they're a decent indication, but they're not all that trustworthy at the end. This vehicle, like I said, it's fine. It works. It's not terrible. It's not a T25 pilot, but it is not worth it in crates. If they would have added it to the Defender Bundle, it would have been like, hey, cool, get the Defender Bundle if you want the Defenders. But this way, it is not worth it. It will never be worth it. And unfortunately, I have to keep saying that until the end of time because Wargaming is obviously never going to change their tank release strategy. With that said, thank you for watching. See you next one. Goodbye.